So, I will play my favorite Primoran deck again after a longer break. I think this is not keepable and of course we have two welders. It's not a huge disadvantage if we take a mulligan here. Uh, that's way better. And I think we get rid of the Phyrexian Colors. Because the Shield Sphere could block in the right matchup. Get rid of that. Hope to get the Library down to and that is a build uh, with some seven libraries. It's pretty strong. Open with bird here and pass the turn. We want to keep the shield sphere around a bit. We do not have to block anything yet, and I want to have something to discard if he plays. Uh, if we get a card like. Survival of the fittest. Um, could play the Abimaya Rangers or the library. I think library has a bigger impact. And we can play it Days Proof. Okay, foil. So we have a nice 3 for one here. Let me continue with the Goblin Welder. I'm fine with playing that in two days right now. Maybe Gush? Yes. Okay, Mountain is fine. So what do we want to play? Ramping up, it's not the greatest thing to do right now. So I want to get the Sharpshooter down. I think it's a card with a higher impact. If our opponent does not have any counter mana up. Okay. I think survival would be our best draw right now. Wooded Fortress. I'm not showing that yet. We are going to find another forest. I don't know if I have any advantage if I hide this, but uh, we do not need to play it right now. Could be possible that he runs something like Armageddon. Then we are happy about our land here. Yeah, I'm going to pay for that because I want to apply some pressure. Kieran Ranger is nice. So I want to play it. And then I would like to attack for two here. Uh, for three. Looting him once, untap the sharpshooter, replay the forest. Yeah, what do we do? Intuition.
So should be a tough choice. Because we have, uh, I think, a two turn clock. Yes. He can maybe have something like Pyroclasm. If it's blue red control. Okay, triple gush. Searching for solutions. Uh, we can remove this stop here, it's for our board decks more. We could see Armageddon here, if, he, if he's on Armageddon, but I don't think this will solve any problem he has right now. Psychotop, okay. That's not bad. Uh, what do we do here? We could shoot two times on the Psychotalk. So he would need to exile. Yeah, it's not strong enough, I think. Shoot at him. Untap. The sharpshooter, go to our turn, Genesis, we can play it, I think it's not bad, so let's get down the forest again, if he dazes it, it would be fine, because we have it in our graveyard, when we can return stuff, like the shield spear to block, He's thinking about it, so probably, or maybe he has something like circular logic. Okay, is this resolved? So do I want to shoot? Do I want to get this down? Yes, I guess. No, not really. Let's shoot here once. And then I would like to untap again. We could attack here to trade against two cards in his graveyard. This might be right. Not sure. And if he does, we can shoot again. Get two more cards. Yeah, that might be right. But not sold yet here. Let's wait a moment longer. Cause like three gushes are gone. He has one in hand. If he has something like Wanda, he could set a turn up we where he would kill us in one shot. But if he has and we would have attacked with that, he just could go and not block. Eight cards in hand means it is at least zombie infestation okay that's great we are sending the genesis in soon So question is, do I want to shoot again here? Shoot on tap. Okay, he plays it like this.
And in this case, I will go and so he can has his Kroic and Horror back first. And after that, I would like to shoot here. And tap the Goblin Sharpshooter. And shoot again to untap it. And I think I will send my Genesis in soon. Cradle is strong, but we have no mana to use it. I won't play Shield Sphere, because if we want, uh, if we draw survival, I want to have a very good turn. I think now I want to attack with the Granger, probably, or just the Genesis. Yeah, let's just bring the Genesis in. So he's going to pump here. Yeah, I'm happy about it because Genesis will be in the graveyard then. We have no creature to rebuy yet, but we could get rid of our own Yavimaya Granger to get some advantage. Okay, at this point it's big enough and I would like to shoot here. Cool thing is that uh, we have the bird to block if he has a wonder. Um, I would like to, do I want to shoot again? No. It's okay if the Genesis dies. But then I'm going to shoot again to trade against one of his cards in hand. Okay, here we could think about bouncing, but he could just easily discard another card. Is it worth it? I guess it's worth it. Yeah, he plays Armageddon, so that's a nice find. Um, okay, that's big enough. But I think I want to get the Shield Sphere down yet. Is it helpful, though? I don't think. He could make one. Uh, he just could make one zombie. So I'm not scared. He attacks with Zombie and Psychotalk. I would like to block the Psychotalk. And... Okay, take this. I'm pretty confident right now. 
about this game. I hope he attacks. Okay. So an upkeep, I would like to uh, buy back my Genesis. And I think I will replay Tanglewares. Pretty good. So let's go with the Genesis, uh, with the Gas Cradle here. And then I want to get the Tangle Wire down. If he countered it, uh, it would be nice because I could play the Shield Sphere. Exchange it. Okay, let's get the Shield Sphere down yet. I could have played it before having three more mana, but I don't think it would make a difference. Now I do want to attack the Granger here. Because I want this uh, Sharpshooter to be untapped. And due to the Tangle Wire, he's, he will not be able to cast Armageddon next turn. So I shoot again. He needs to discard. But I do not think we have won anything. Tapping this versus one of his cards in hand might be good. I think I, I try this. Because we are 20 life and we have a shield sphere to block. Okay, getting rid of a second zombie infestation. Mm, yeah, now he got zombies online. He can even generate two to tap into table wire. So in this case, he can play Armageddon if he has island. But he needs to draw either Armageddon or, or land. We will see. Careful study. So I think we get down the Genesis next turn. Survival would be our best draw. But at this point, uh, he could just easily have another foil. So here it's important to put the um, click on this ability first because we will remove a fading counter here. And then we just need to tap three things. I would like to tap like this. And this and this should be right. Mastico is sweet. Um, so we have five mana here. We play Masticore. He has a counter spell for that. It's not a problem because we could just easily exchange one artifact. Okay. We have some mana left. So let's um, ping here. Then I want to untap this. 
ping again. Maybe at this point it would be right to go face. So I could attack with these two. He blocks one. A uh, cool thing is that I can discard my Genesis into the Musty Core and the turn after I, I can buy back some cards. Or I can sacrifice it and exchange it with Shield Sphere or Tangle Wire. I don't think I untap my Sharpshooter if I exchange because it's not like it's sacked or something. Or died. It's funny how strong even the tail wire is turn 10. Okay. Nice game. So let's take a look at my actual list. I think the furnace is sweet. So is the Tormod script. Sharpshooter is fine. The Red Blast, so I'm, there was just Psychotalk I was a bit scared of. I think he might have something like Engineered Plagues. So do I want to bring in Naturalizers? I think I want, but I'm not sure exactly how much. Window Op should not be the right card. Same with Zabu's Web. I really like the walls. Mindless Automatum should not be the right thing to do. Maybe we do not need all of these. And Sharpshooter might be a bit too much the second one and maybe one tangle wire and get rid of one line of half here this should be fine i'm not sure about the red elemental blasts sure we could hit a musty uh, musty core psychotoc there or gush but I think I want to blast the gush. That's fine. Ah, oh, we do not have green, I see. We have a green with Cradle Shield Sphere. I would like to keep this. So the question is, do I want to lead? Yeah, we can make a pretty explosive turn. Two. Let's see what his bottom card will be. And I decide then. If he plays, uh, puts down a Squee Goblin Nabu. I would like to immediately play Furnace Activated. We have no payoff card yet. Okay, please put the Squee on the bottom. Yes. Wooded full tiles. But we will go Mountain here. Rex and Furnace. I think I should went for this, fetching green. So next turn I could play bird, shield sphere, have three mana, up. Yeah, that's, that would have been better. Probably not game breaking, cause even the wall can produce green. And I don't think I want to get rid of everything. Because 
I want to have something to discard for survivor of the fittest. Yeah, and it's important that we got this down so early to keep up with this graveyard. Okay, do we have an advantage? If we go Wall of Roots, Birds of Paradise, we have just the shields we left. Not sure. But it should be fine. Of course, he could play easily next turn Armageddon with Gush before, and then we would be pretty far behind. So I think our turn will be Wall of Roots, Birds of Paradise. And the nice thing is we can reuse the. So oh, Sylvan Library is sweet. So I think the mass has changed here. So what is... I need to play this first, sadly, or? Sylvan Library. So now I'm getting really punished for not playing Wooded for this turn one, but uh, I can't say it because we might have drawn different cards then. Okay. I still think it might be right to just go like this. This to have more mana up after uh, Armageddon. We keep this for possible survival of the fittest. The nice thing is that we can add mana here to exile something, but then it's gone. Okay, deep analysis. I might pull the trigger here for that, but I don't think I'm in a hurry. Because I want to get the civil library down. I'm hoping that he does not have. Okay, another forest. So inside the bottom card here, I will not play another land, I guess. So if he folds this, I would like to exile the deep analysis to draw a card. Okay, does not fold it. Do I want to get the mountain down? I don't think I need to do this. Because we still have mana active to... We can't exile it as soon as he has priority. Because if the stack is empty, he can just cast it. And exiling this is part of the coast. So here I could go and... Target exile this, but I think if he plays this, he won't play Armageddon. And he would have like 12 cards in hand, needing to discard 5. Tough choices. Careful study. And next card we eat is a wonder, which should be pretty strong because if he makes some zombies, we could block with the shield sphere. Okay, he gets one horror back, going to ten cards in hand, but this won't make a huge difference for us. Okay. 
that's nice. So this could escalate pretty quickly. I hope to find a Talmud script with my Sylvan library or survivor of the fittest. So he will return one of the horrors now and he can discard two more cards into the zombie infestation. But it's okay, we have some things to do here. So he could potentially have five zombie tokens. Mastico would be a great draw. Yeah, that's a good draw. I don't think we need to Carpusen Forest here. We want to draw later. Um, we do want to keep these two around. He could easily have a foil, but I'm willing to test this out. Him having foil would mean that he could make less zombies. Yeah, he should have foil at this point. Yes, right call. Um, let's exile one of your bottom cards here. We could target exile the squee and I think it's worth it. So I do want to add some mana here. Exciling the squee, because squee will return uh, each turn. Um, we knew about that. And now I think the play is to get just get the shield sphere down to have some blocking. Yeah, I want to play the shield sphere. And I think I want to play the Capuzan Forest because we have so much land. And if he wants to Armageddon, it should be fine for us. Gosh, I'm get on, probably. Yeah, that's a good card. Make lock here, lock there. That's fine. Let's just use the turn. We need some business now with the library because the psychotalk is applying some pressure and this cannot block forever. It's not impressive, but I think I would like to put that on top. Mm, pay for that. And then my play will be like off roots. So the good thing with the Goblin Weather is that I can block, exchange this with the Furnace, and then return it. Making another zombie is not helpful, I guess, for him.
Because if he attacks with a Psychotoc, I would like to block. And in this case, he needs many cards to exile. Okay, I want to block like um, here, here, and there. He has to eat like eight cards to get through that wall. He will do it to get rid of that. We need something because he will have one zombie more each turn. Nice thing is that he can stack it like this to get one Krovik and Horror at least back. Maybe two. Yeah, that was nice. Having the sword for the Goblin Welder. So we can't make the play of exchanging and exciting cards from his graveyard. Okay, let's, let me take a look here. Hermit is fine. I don't want to draw that. I think I want to draw the Tangle Wire. Taking some speed out. I'm digging some deep, uh, some more cuts deeper. And here I want to go like play the cradle to potentially pay for days. Let's get the Hermit down. And then we will play the Tangle Wire here. I don't think I want to play Fintan Elves. So if we tap some of his creatures, we could go for the attacking route. Okay. Probably for three goblin, three three goblin Naboo. Yeah, this might be nice, but he just gets one into hand, and he needs to tap all of his creatures. Um, take the horror. Because then he needs to discard another card for making... Yeah, that's an interesting spot here. I would like to heal through the turn. This. We take these. I think it won't be enough. Okay, he could make like four blockers. No, two blockers. Uh, let's put the this one on the bottom. Do I want to pay echo? I think I want. Okay, fading is okay. I will pay echo like one, two, three, four, five. But then I can't, so let's take the cradle mana here. We are losing three mana, but this should not be a problem. Because in this case, we can block the zombies and we want to tap one two three probably yes 
give me something Sylvan Library again. What's the thing I want to do here? I don't want to pay for life again, to be honest. But I do want to get a Phantom F down here. If I attack with this, he can block one. Yeah, we are not the aggressor here. I think we need to get a survival down soon. To win from there, but we won't keep up with the zombie army forever. Because he will make like two to three zombies each turn cycle. everything so let's go like this is clear this is clear he might have a sort of process for that so I would like to block here block here and here and smash this like this it's okay for me if he has a sword for that because we need a survival to win the game or have any chance. So like this, these are much dead draws. Yeah, let's scoop this together. This what's crazy, like no good draw in so many turns. Crazy. I want to have more naturalize after that game and i want to have mm. trike is not impressive but sharpshooter could be impressive to cuts to cut uh let's cut something like one of the Finton Elves. Probably the Colors. Yeah, we haven't had a uh, survival reserved in the match. Hopefully we get one yet. Not capable. Not good. Ship the forest here. Lead with the birds of paradise for potential three drops. Yeah, it said that we are a bit tight on time because it's very interesting. Let's get down and clearing range and ship the turn here. No attacks. Hmm. 
think this might be wrong because if we want uh, if we draw survival so do i want to naturalize this i think not yet no i want to do it because like give me blue give me green naturalize this Intuition is fine. He should get like probably three zombie infestations, but we got that covered. Yeah, us not playing uh, for naturalized last match, uh, last game was probably a huge error because it's so good on Mox Diamond too. Uh, let's untap our bird. Go to attack this ranger and i don't want to play another land right now because we have enough mana i don't want to lose too much ground against the armageddon Okay, he can have that, but we are going to naturalize it right away because I don't want him to have the horror back. He will probably make one zombie or maybe two. Foil, strong one. Two squeeze, one Krovican horror. I think we are pretty done here. Another bird, sweet. No one needs this. So we need something like a uh, sharpshooter very soon. It was stupid I played the bird, to be honest. I just wanted to not fold against like Armageddon, but I think I should have kept that for sure if I draw uh, Armageddon, uh, if I draw Survival of the Fittest. But at this point, I'm a bit done with my brain capacity. Even Tailwire would be nice. Sharpshooters, fine. He might have a sword for that, but it's okay. Get that down. Ship the turn. So same argument for that. We could have kept it, but I no, I don't think so. I think we just need uh, something to play against. The zombie army. So he's making like one and a half to two zombies a turn. I'm not planning on blocking yet. So more zombies. Cradle, okay, Cradle does nothing. I want to speed up because we do have a shoot here. Um, return that. I don't want this to just be lost against time. Ah, this was my trigger. So put that into play. Pack there 
So seeing as we still have a shot, but it's it's I don't want to win this due to time. I hope I will be fast enough to concede. So he attacks here with five. I just need to block one. Firstly, I can go like shoot that, untap that, shoot that. So I don't need to block, but I think I want to block uh, with one bird here. And then I would like to shoot one here, let the bird die. I go to four, this untaps shooting this and then quickly go to our turn and concede if we do not draw anything game breaking another goblin well okay we are done here very oh are we done five attackers not done yet like this um playing the Mountain was probably wrong. So he will attack with four. We need to block three. But we are, I think there is not the possibility that we can win from that spot. So I will concede in a few seconds. But very nice and an impressive deck by Phil there. So let's go with this and we are going to concede here. There is nothing we can draw to be honest. We will reveal our flooded hand here. Yes, yeah, Squee won't win. Hermit. Hermit was a bit late to the party, otherwise it could have been a good play with the cradle. Yeah, nice match. Thanks for watching.